Hey everyone, welcome to Wikcode, where in this video we're going to learn about a process versus thread versus core, including concurrent versus parallel program execution, logical versus physical cores, how threads run in a process, the structure of a process versus thread versus core, and how to show the processes, threads, and cores of a computer using the Linux terminal. So to begin, what is a process? Well, a process is simply a program that is being executed. For example, we could have a program written in some high-level programming language on a computer. When this program isn't being executed, it is just a program. But when the program is being executed, it becomes a process. We can list the running processes on Linux by running the command ps-e. Now, if we scroll it to the top, we can see four columns, PID, TTY, time, and CMD. PID is the ID of the process, TTY is the type of terminal the user is logged into, time is the time the process has been running, and CMD is the command that launched the process. This output shows that computers can run multiple processes at the same time. We can also see that one program can have many processes associated with it. For example, if we look for Chrome, we can see several Chrome processes listed. such as here, here, and all around here. And now we can also see a process as a logical container that holds all the information about the program running, such as its process ID, program instructions, memory space, data read from files, and things like that. We can get a more detailed view of the process on a Linux machine by using the command PSAUX. Now if we scroll to the top, We can see more information, such as percent memory, RSS, um, stat, etc. Percent memory shows the memory usage percentage of the process. RSS stands for resident set size and shows the portion of RAM occupied by the process. And stat shows the current process state. So now that we've got a general idea of what a process is, what is a thread? Well, processes are made up of one to many threads. And a thread is a unit of execution that is scheduled by the operating system and executed by the CPU. Specifically, a thread consists of a stack, thread ID, a program counter, and a set of registers. Threads in a multi-threaded process, or processes that consist of more than one thread, share the code, data, files, etc. with other threads of the process. For example, a chat application built using Java could be multi-threaded. In this application, one thread could be in charge of, say, listening for incoming messages, while another could be responsible for sending messages to other users in the chat. Both these threads would be unique, but they would work with the same code files of the process. So threads are a unit of execution within a process. Processes can be either single or multi-threaded, and processes do not share memory with other processes, but threads share memory with other threads of the same process. To view the threads of a process, we can use the command ps-t-p and provide it PID, where PID is the ID of the process we want to check. And let's relist our processes and then choose one of them to show the threads of. Let's use this process here, 54029. So this command this one right here, lists all the threads of the provided process. The option dash T lists all threads and dash P specifies the process ID. Here, we are showing the threads that are part of the Chrome process ID 54029. In this output here, SPID is the thread ID, while PID is the process ID. And notice how the process ID is the same throughout here, whereas the thread ID is different because these are multiple threads working within the same process. And now let's talk about a core. So a core is essentially a CPU itself. And nowadays, computers can have single core or multi-core CPUs. A single core CPU can only process one program at a time, while a multi-core CPU can execute programs simultaneously. However, even though single core CPUs cannot run processes in parallel, they can execute programs concurrently with time slicing, essentially working on bits and pieces of a program before switching to another program, working on that one, switching back, and so on. Multi-core CPUs can execute programs simultaneously 
because different cores can work on different programs. And we can list the amount of cores a computer has on Linux by running the command lscpu. The lscpu command gets information about the CPU of the system. Let's scroll to the top. And from this information, we can see that we have six cores per socket listed here. We have two threads per core listed here and 12 CPUs listed here. This is because of the existence of physical and logical cores. A physical core is the hardware on the CPU itself. Logical core is the multiplication of the amount of physical cores by the number of threads per core. So for example, here we have six, a six core CPU with two threads per core. This equates to 12 logical cores or CPUs. And threads are mentioned here because from a core perspective, a thread is a sequence of commands given to the cores. Cores execute a program which makes it a process. And then just one final thing to mention is that threads running on the same core are not really running in parallel. They only appear to be running in parallel as the CPU switches between them very quickly. However, threads executing on different cores can be executed in parallel. But there we have it. Understanding these concepts could definitely make it easier to write multi-threaded applications. And it's also just something cool to know. But um, I want to thank you for liking and subscribing today. Um, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.